Hello friends. Today we're going to be making some enchilada stuffed bell peppers. And I got this recipe from a friend of ours on YouTube. Her, her channel is called Cooking with Neighbors. And it just sounded so good that I thought I'm going to make that and kind of tweak it and make it my own. I'm going to put her original video in the uh, description box. So check her out. She's a sweet lady. Okay, I got some bell peppers. Our Brookshire's, they put... Um, produce in a bag sometimes for a dollar or two dollars so I got those the other day and I knew what I was going to make when I picked them up so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to ground some hamburger meat and I got the uh I got a lean uh hamburger meat it's just because that's just usually what I like to buy this is a 93.7 so and it's a pound and a half so we're going to brown this hamburger meat up and I'm going to add um, some um, garlic and onion and all of that to that. So I'm going to get this hamburger meat about half done and then uh, I'll be right back. Okay, our um, hamburger meat is about half done. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a diced onion and it's about... Um, I buy this minced garlic. So I'm going to probably use a good spoon. I would probably say about a tablespoon and a half. Okay, so however much garlic you would want to want to put in there. And then I'm going to also start um, adding my spices. Now, I'm going to add, we like our stuff spicy. So, I'm going to add like a half of a teaspoon Cayenne pepper. Um, I'm going to put some cilantro in there. And I'm probably going to use about two of these. Two teaspoons of cilantro. Love cilantro. I actually have it growing in my herb garden. And it reseeds itself every year, so it's really good. Cumin. I'm going to add about three teaspoons. Okay, and then of your chili powder, I'm going to add two, two teaspoons. Keep it easy, we'll do everything teaspoons, except that garlic. Okay, we're going to let that finish cooking until uh, the meat's done. Don't worry about the onions and stuff being done because it's got to bake. So, we're going to let that cook for just a minute until it finishes, the meat gets done, and then we'll be right back. Okay, we got our meat fully cooked. So, now we are going to add one cup of of whole corn, whole kernel corn, drained, okay? And then we're going to add uh, this little can of Hatch Green Chilies. Like I said, we like a uh, spice, so leave those out if you're, don't like spice, okay? And then we're going to go with um, some enchilada sauce, and this is the kind I like to use. This is my favorite brand of um, enchilada sauce. I'm going to put one can, and I know I'm going to have to have more than that, but I'm going to start off with one can, okay? And then this is a almost full package of just Mexican cheese. Nacho cheese, tacos, nacho cheese, whatever. It's, um, it's cheddar and Monterey Jack, okay? You want to go ahead for a the whole package. Now, I do have some mild cheddar that I am going to top this with later on, okay? And this was a 8-ounce uh, bag. Okay, so with our other can of enchilada sauce, and we may even use three. I do not like anything dry. We do not like dry anything. So, 
probably gonna go ahead with go ahead and do a half and we'll see how the mixture um is but if it's uh that's enough then we'll just use it on something else and you know what i think one and a half cans might do it now we're going to put a little bit in the bottom of um this pan i went ahead and cleaned my bell peppers there's four of us um so i'm making one a piece and then i know that there's probably going to be more of this mixture and i'm also going to have some tortillas on the table that they can just put those in if they want to okay so i got my um bell peppers cleaned out and we're going to put them in this casserole pan and we're going to fill them okay So the corn kind of makes it the, you have your tortilla there. So fill these all up. And then we're going to pour, you can either use water or she said broth or the enchilada sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the enchilada sauce. Pour about an inch or so in the bottom and we're going to cover it and bake it at 375 for 15 minutes. We kind of steam it. We're gonna take the foil off and we're going to let it cook for about another 15 or so, 20 minutes or so until we feel like these are good and tender, okay? And um, then we're gonna to top it. I've got some jalapenos and some avocados, and of course that last 15 are, I may just put the cheese on like the last um, five or so minutes. Okay, so all of these are filled, and look how much I still have left. I have quite a bit of meat left. So, <laughs> excuse me, um, I'm going to put this in a smaller bowl, warm it up and just put it on the table, because I think that we will enjoy that. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this with some foil, and we're gonna put it in the oven for 15 minutes on 375. Pouring that sauce in there so it'll have a little moisture. Before I cover it up. Okay, we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, these have been cooking for a while with the foil. Now I'm gonna cook them without the foil so they'll brown a little bit. And then the last uh, few minutes I'll put the cheese on. So I just took that foil off. Let's, let's cook it now for uh, a while so it can get brown. Okay, I just got this out of the oven and I put the cheese on top. It's going to melt, it's already starting to melt. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in a plate. Okay, I like lime, so I'm going to put some lime on mine. A little lime on Mexican food. And some peppers. it open. I've already tried the mixture, so I know it tastes good. <laughs> it's very good. I just uh, put it in a tortilla and while this was cooking, the extra. Okay. And if you leave the corn out, it would be calorie friendly. Uh, it would be uh, keto friendly. So this is dinner. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.